everybody, Heather from Cuz We Can Farms. Thanks for watching the video. In this one, I give you a brief update on what we have going on and plans that have changed. Pick up our skid loader. We also run to Home Depot and pick up some concrete. Well, I've gotten the skid loader again. Yay! So I get to back it off the trailer. We all know how much I like that. Um, but I am getting better at it, and that's good. And this is our skid loader. So I feel way more comfortable in this one than I do the rented ones. And now I'm just gonna drive it up the driveway because the truck, it's too heavy for the truck and trailer to pull it up. I need a dually, totally need a dually. I'm super excited. We are going to attempt to move the shipping container. It's way over there. Put it way back there. We're going to end up putting it behind the RV. For those of you that have not been following along, I'll kind of let you know what we're doing. Um, I purchased the shipping container last year to just kind of store my stuff on the property while I built, while I did my building and a whole bunch of plans changed <laughs> um, first the building prices went skyrocketing uh, i do have a wood miser lt35 and i am milling um, most of my lumber off of my property but that takes a lot of time and i wasn't aware of that <laughs> i mean i knew it would add to it but i didn't realize how much time um, so i that slowed me down a lot i also had some issues with uh, land developer purchasing this land that I'm walking through now and um, that caused some issues too because I wasn't able to get my building permit until the road was put in and all of these things it was just mildly ridiculous but so we got a super late start um, and I did not get to start uh, I didn't get to put my peers in until September of last year and during that time um, I made a decision to move my house further away from my property line uh, into an area that I thought my son would probably build his house in, but he found a different spot on the property. So I got to shift my building area over. I am now using the piers that I poured last year to put up my barn and a garage and um, trying to do this without hitting the speaker. I have a tendency to do that when I'm holding my phone on this side. So, um, now I've decided, since I broke my foot early in the season, and <clears throat> that looks really weird. Oh, it's because there's a driveway right there. <laughs> Like, what's going on on my phone? There's not two roads right here. <laughs> Welcome to my life. <laughs> so I had this shipping container. I decided to do a tiny home. I am in the RV. Uh, one of my best friends from the military moved up here to help. She is learning to uh, do all the videoing so that... Uh, I can spend a little bit more time actually working on the project instead of moving a camera around and stuff. So that's been super helpful. And then Kira's here, who is uh, the daughter of another military friend of mine, and so I call her my niece, Kira. And she is here whoop, helping on the farm and helping the build, and we're going to be building her a little cabin um, because she has a cat and I have two corgis and cat and two corgis in a little RV is a no-go. <laughs> at least at this station. <laughs> so we'll be trying to get these things done before winter. It is mid-August here in northern Idaho. 
And we're wanting to do all these things before uh, end of October. <laughs> Ooh, this is a steep hill. So, today or this weekend, I have some friends from church that are going to come over. They have moved a shipping container like this before. We're going to throw some logs on it and try to pull it with the skid loader, possibly. Oh, not my truck because I don't have my truck here. Oh, dang it. I was going to pull it with my truck. I have to go back and get my truck. <laughs> I left my truck at my son's house. I swapped him for his truck and trailer to bring the skid loader up here. Squirrel. No, literally. Squirrel. So, the truck and trailer, the truck cannot pull the tra trailer and the skid loader up my driveway because it's super steep. So, you have to unload down at the bottom of the hill, drive up the skid loader, walk back down, <laughs> and drive up the truck and trailer. <laughs> so, this is exercise, and I'm getting it. And it totally counts. I'm really grateful that I don't have to walk up the hill. Because then I don't think I'd get much done today. <laughs> okay, super funny thing. I just heard this weird noise. And I'm like, what is that? You know, and you, I stop walking. And I stop hearing the noise. And I start walking and I start hearing the noise. And then I realize it's my estrogen. I picked up my estrogen in the mail today. <laughs> And it's in my pocket and it's shaking. So, old lady with pills. At least I'm not heavy enough to make that thing go down really fast like the skid loader is. <laughs> Gear can't make it move at all, so I guess this is a bonus. <laughs> they think it's theirs. Is that not yours? There's no cookies in it? What? What is this? It's boring. Boring electronical stuff. So the dogs still believe that Kira's mail is their bark box. Is this the face of disappointment? Oh, look at her. She's like, it's. I've been betrayed. She's like, those are not the goodies I was promised. Cookies come in boxes, don't they, Chloe? But yes. No now cookies? Are there no cookies in there? container with the skid loader. Uh, <laughs> it would not move it. So we've got a plan. What are we at? R <laughs> for that. Um, right now I'm just getting everything that I can get done with the skid loader done before it has to go back to the shop on Monday. Kim picked me up a drink so that I'm not dying. There she is! <laughs>
Okay, so we're in Home Depot. Oh, we're so pretty. <laughs> we're picking up some concrete so that we can fill in those holes tomorrow. Looks like we might be getting some help. That'll be exciting. Uh, concrete's over here. Home Depot's got concrete. If you need concrete, they got you covered. Okay, so we got our 20 bags of concrete and we're not lifting those, someone else is, because we're pretty. <laughs> and now we just picked up our rebar. So we'll have stuff to do tomorrow because that's always something we need to figure out. <laughs> Only the one. I asked him if we know any here I sit and wait ones and poems. And she said, I only know one. It's not YouTube appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> so we're hanging out, waiting for the guy to come load our concrete. And it's right there. And we're right here. <laughs> Check that out. Whoops. Look at your truck being a truck. Oh, that's for reals. Mine doesn't do that. <laughs> oh, it's a low rider now. <laughs> no, it's not that heavy. Is it that heavy? <laughs> it doesn't go this low with the water. We're all legal and everything with our flag. No deer, no deer, no deer. No whammies, no, no whammies. whammies. <laughs> Come on, Samson, you got this. You, you guys can't see us, but we're driving up the driveway and we're gunning it because we've got 1,600 pounds of concrete in the back of the truck. And some rebar. And some rebar. And we do have our little red flag. <laughs> it's a feeding frenzy.
Back all the way back. 